Have you recently gotten a 3D printer or are looking at getting a 3D printer, but you're not sure what to do once you get it? Well, first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download and install a slicer. So the main slicer that most of us use, myself included, is going to be Cura. So let me go ahead and walk you through the process of downloading Cura. Um, I use a Mac computer, so we're going to go ahead and go through the process of that. Uh, download and installation using a Mac computer. So let's get that here. So first things first, we are going to go to Ultimaker Cura. So Ultimaker is the website. Uh, so we're going to go down over here and select Mac OS, the Macintosh operating system. Going to go ahead and get that downloaded. And uh, my computer's going real slow right now. Just got it set up so it's still uh, downloading a whole bunch of stuff at this particular moment. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, just wait for this to finish up here. And once we get this downloaded and set up, we are going to uh, go through and um, just kind of go through the setup with our machine and all that kind of stuff. So I'm using an Ender 3 3D printer, just base model Ender 3. Uh, so it is going to be machine specific. So, all right, we've got the Ultimaker Cura download right here. So we're going to go ahead and select that. We are going to agree to the terms of service here and wait for this to open up. And uh, for the installation, we have to select to put this into the applications. So we're just going to wait for this to upload now. And that should take just a moment. So we're going to go into the applications here. Looks like we're ready to go. So, all right, we're going to hit install. All right, and then you've got to input your computer's password here so we're just going to put that in and that is installed so we're going to close out of here clear this out of the way and we're going to go back into our launch pad here and open that up and yes we want to make sure to open that All right, and you can see it jumping over here. And so we click on that, get that open, perfect. Now we're gonna get started. You wanna agree to the disclaimer. Data collection, all that good stuff. Um, I don't think you actually need an account to get set up with this. Um, so I went through here and realized that I don't have that. So I just went ahead and skipped that. You want to do non and then non network printer again. So you scroll down. Uh, Ender is made by Creality. So you want to select Creality 3D and then I've got just the Ender 3. So you want to select that here. Click next. And then that's just your standard settings here. Make sure everything is good on that. It only has the one extruder. So we are good to go there. And then click next. And then that's just an update about the new support system that they have. And telling you that brims are now easier to remove. So that's all cool. <laughs> And new stuff, 
new stuff, new stuff. So here we go. And that is our build plate right here. So this is going to be your drop down here. This is just the basic settings. So if you go and click on show custom, you can see that we don't have a lot of options right here. So what we're going to want to do is click on settings, configure settings visibility, and then we're just going to go down here to check all. And then that gives us all of our options right here. All right. So now you can go through and uh, make any changes that you want to. These are your generic profile options. I usually end up just kind of skipping through most of that and just doing standard settings. And so here we're going to go to STL Flicks so that we can get a file to uh, run our first print on. And I always hate these because I always think that I'm going to get that wrong. I always feel like it's a trick and they're going to think that I'm a robot and, you know, John Connor's going to come and try and kill me or something. So like this right here, come on, that little section with the tire right there, does that count? Like these things are just ridiculous. So I don't know, John Connor. Don't come and murder me. I'm not a robot. I'm a human. I'm a real person. I swear. So, all right. STL Flix is going to load up for us now. Slowly. Very slowly. Now, this is my internet that you can blame on, on why everything's going so slow. All right, here we go. So these are, these are the files that they do have available in your subscriptions. So you just need to get a subscription with them. You can do monthly. I ended up doing the lifetime one um, because I do sell these at different events. So um, for me, having the lifetime with the commercial licensing is, uh, is a big plus. Um, otherwise, uh, I think it's 15 or 20 bucks a month, something like that. I, they have a few different plans. I'm really not an expert on it. I signed up for it one time, and uh, pretty much all that I know is, um, you know, what, what they told me at the beginning. So, all right, now, whoops, all right, so that was that one, so let's open this guy, all right, so we've got the melting pumpkin candy dispenser, we're going to download the files, so we're going to download the files for that. We're going to look through here and we're going to be able to see all of the information that they recommend that you do for this. You don't need any kind of support or anything. So we're going to come in here and we are going to select the melting pumpkin. So we've got the bowl right here. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And boom, there we go. So take a look at that guy. Now this is very large, so you do want to be aware of that. So Anytime that you make changes, it's going to ask you if you want to save those changes or not. Yep. 
One second while we respond to Susie. She is just sending me garbage. What? Back to our thing. All right, so we're gonna scroll down here. Uh, so I like to do the skirt um, so that I can make sure that my bed is level. And then we wanna make sure that we enable the retraction and we've been having good luck with the setting uh, at five. Combing mode, you wanna have that not in the skin. and Z hop when retracted. So that's gonna move it over so that you don't knock anything over basically. All right, so print speed, we're gonna go ahead and just look through here real quick. Looks like we should be good on that. So we're just gonna go ahead and slice it. All right, now let's see what this comes out as. Now this is a large pumpkin and it's got quite a bit of a, quite a bit of detail to it. So this one's gonna take quite a bit of time for it to finish. Three days, 14 hours, and 49 minutes. Yikes. Uh, that's going to take a little bit of time. <laughs> All right, so... And you save to the removable drive. Saving, saving, saving. Now bear in mind, I had a lot of stuff downloading at this particular time. Like a lot of stuff. So my uh, brand new computer and it was, uh, getting everything downloaded and installed on it. So there we go. And we are good to eject now. Good Lord. Oh. Looks like our current print is failing. Yikes. All right, so we'll keep our eye on that. So, all right, and that's how you do that. Um, so, where, where's my pumpkin? Ah, <laughs> so, I ended up shrinking that guy down a bit because um, I didn't want to wait three days for that. So I shrunk him down and made him clear and put a little dollar store candle in there. I think he turned out pretty rad. Hang on, let me turn this off real quick. There we go. So that's just clear filament and that dude came out pretty cool. So 
If you have any questions, uh, if I didn't cover anything, or if you just want me to go over more settings or anything like that, leave a comment down below. Um, if you thought this was helpful, feel free to throw us a like. Um, we're going to try to put some more information like this out on the page. So uh, definitely subscribe so that you can see what we have in the future. If you have anything that you'd like me to cover, leave a comment down below for sure. And uh, I'm going to leave a link to this clear filament. So if you're interested in picking some of that up, you can get that from Amazon. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. I think this stuff's super cool. And uh, with the light, it's going to make for an awesome Halloween decoration or maybe even a Halloween present, something like that. So, um, yeah, that's going to do it for us today. Um, thanks, guys. Have a great day.